Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. I've come down to 40 Queen Street in Scarborough to Clark's famous restaurants. And I want you to join me. Come on, follow me. I've come inside and here's Rob Clark, the owner and master chef. Now, you are known, you are famous all over Scarborough and the whole area for your dishes. You are a great master chef. Now, I want you to tell me all about your restaurants and your speciality foods. Well, here at Clark's, we've got a very intimate restaurant. It's 30 seats and we specialise in British tapas. So we serve that as a starter. And British tapas really is celebrating what we do in the north, to celebrate what we do in Scarborough. So we've got some very, very local ingredients, such as things like Scarborough lobster. I am drooling already now. I think we should go downstairs to your kitchen because you are going to show us exactly how you prepare some of your food, okay? Your marvellous dishes. So let's go downstairs to the kitchen. The knives are out, the sharpened, the pans are ready. Let's go. Come on then, let's get off. We've come downstairs to the kitchen. Now, Rob, you are going to prepare some dishes. Tell me all about them. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing two dishes. They're going to be British tapas. Now, for a lot of people, this, they expect a certain type of Spanish type dish. This is very British in essence. And what we amalgamate is things that are regional, things that are current, and little starters almost as small plates. So the first dish we're going to be doing is a smoked duck liver pate. We're going to use some mango chutney some lovely crystallised ginger and we're going to do some gingerbread toast on top of that and just to finish that little dish off we've got some reduced px sherry syrup which is gorgeous i can't wait off the, you go okay so the first dish we're going to do is this smoked duck liver pate we're going to pipe it into our little porcelain eggshell so that gets neatly piped in and we do this um, every time it comes on order what we're then going to do on the top of the uh, smoked duck liver pate is we've got some beautiful, uh, really reduced, claggy, sugary, syrupy mango chutney. That just goes on top of the smoked duck liver. So we've got gingerbread toast. We've got some lovely little uh, crystallised pieces of ginger. Now there's a ginger theme running through here because this goes fabulously well with chicken liver or duck liver pate. We've got this next item, which is a, a PX sherry. So it's a variety of sherry. We simply just put it in a pan with some sugar and we boil it all the way down to a syrup. Once the syrup's achieved, we pop it in a bottle and then we just keep this in the fridge. So we then drizzle on the PX sherry syrup. And then what we do at the restaurant then is we garnish things with a few little items, which I grow in my conservatory at home. So we've got some um, little viola flowers. On top. Can you eat these flowers? Yeah, absolutely, they're completely edible. Uh, they do have a lovely kind of perfume flavour, so they're not just for aesthetic reasons. And then we serve that in a little nest of hay, and that's what we call a, a British tapas. Wow. We're moving on to a, a little salmon dish. It's a beetroot and lime cured salmon. Now, it sounds very technical, but in essence, it's very, very simple. What we have is a beautiful piece of fillet of salmon. What we do is we cure it. So we create a, um, a bit of a, a solution almost. It's equal quantity of sugar and salt. So 200 grams of sugar, 200 grams of salt. And we mix that with a beetroot powder. We spread that all over the salmon fillet and we leave that for two days. Now that draws all the moisture out of the salmon. It has a very, very salty crust over the top of that salmon. We then wash it in cold water and we keep rinsing it with cold water until that salt solution comes off. In essence, what we then have is some beautiful bright pink pieces of salmon. We then dry it and then we put fresh lime zest on top of it. So what you've got is a, a kind of salty flavoured salmon with a very zingy flavoured lime going on the top. So the second dish is going to be a lime and beetroot cured salmon. So moving on to our ingredients that we're going to serve with the salmon. We portion the salmon up into little pieces. And as you can see, you've got these beautiful pieces of lime zest going over the top. Now we make an incision on top of the salmon. And then we use these great little crackers. Now these are a charcoal cracker. They're a salt wafer in essence. We've used things like corn oil as a starch then to bind it. So we place this on top of the salmon. This is a charcoal wafer. And that sits just nice and proud like so. 
Salmon dishes for me need some acidity. They need something to cut through that oil. So we use a pickled cucumber. Now these are pieces of cucumber that have just been cut into ribbons and we do a pickling solution which is white wine, white wine vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice and then we use some honey just for sweetness. So we mix all that together and we just taste it. If it's all flavoursome it's great. So with these ribbons of pickled cucumber we place it over the salmon. The other ingredient which is not so particularly commonly known is sea spinach. Now this is something that grows around marshlands and it's very very robust. So it wilts down the same as spinach, but not to the degree. It's quite robust and it's quite firm. Now this gives a lovely flavour of the sea. So we serve some sea spinach with our um, salmon tapas. And the next item we use, which is a quite a new ingredient that will go into our re a restaurant, which is um, Exmoor caviar. Now this is from a sturgeon fish. Um, it's quite expensive. It's a great flavour, but it's an item of luxury. And that's what we want to provide our customers with. So a great good dollop of Exmoor caviar goes on top of that dish. And then all we've got to do then is to garnish it. We garnish it with some pea shoots because peas and salmon go very nicely together. And then that is our second British tapas dish. So the next dish we're going to be doing, Barry, is Whitby wild sea trout. Something that's on our menu at the moment. Very, very seasonal. Many people haven't had it before. Okay, so the sea trout is going to go into a hot frying pan. We're going to sear the skin. So that goes into a frying pan with a little bit of oil. The second saucepan, Barry, is we're going to be using our clams. The clams go in some white wine. We're going to steam those clams. Technically, as soon as they're open, they're cooked. There's, there's no, no difficulty with that. So the clams are in a saucepan with some lovely white wine. We're going to add our... Scarborough wild garlic, which we've hand foraged. And we're going to give that a little bit of a shake in there. Now the next item we're going to add is something a bit more topical, which is a squid ink linguine. A basic linguine pasta recipe with the addition of squid ink. This is done for two reasons, for colour and also for flavour. So what you've got is something very, very kind of black in colour. Now for our customers, this is something quite new and it's something quite exciting to be trying. So the squid ink linguine is added to our clams and then we're going to start addition with things like samphire. Now samphire is grown on marshlands, it's got a salty kind of flavour. Now sometimes it does need washing because of grit but also sometimes it's too salty in flavour. Too many people then start adding seasoning to things so the best thing is to taste things before you start adding salt and pepper. So the samphire is going in and we're just going to pick that down. And then we're going to start adding some cream to create a bit of a sauce with our clams. Now that's going to simmer around three to four minutes. And then we're going to taste it for seasoning. Now we season quite a lot with lemon juice. So we'll add some lemon juice at this stage. And we'll cook that just until the clams pop open. The cream is a lovely thick consistency. And then we'll be ready to serve up. Okay, so it comes to presentation of this dish, it's, it's very simple. I mean, the, the, the saucepan itself just speaks a thousand words for me. All the flavours are in there. You've got these amazing clams, the squid ink linguine, samphire, and, and Scarborough um, wild garlic, which is fabulous. So when it comes to presenting our dish, we spend a little bit of time just making sure that all the clams, the star of the show, are all presented around the bowl. And there we go. We have the squid ink linguine, which in essence is almost like a, um, a linguine marinier type of flavour, you know, with white wine and garlic, kind of old school really. And then we've got the Whitby Wild Sea Trout right at the harbour. So two nice pieces of finishing on there. Um, and Scarborough Wild Garlic, just to dress the plate up to add a little bit of flavour. And there we have Whitby wild sea trout, clams, squid ink linguine, samphire and Scarborough wild garlic. Mm -hmm.